I'm the volunteer coordinator for the San Fernando Valley for the LA Beyond Coal campaign. That means I'm a volunteer. So I put in my time on a weekend like this. Nobody pays me for gathering these signatures. And by the way, all these people here are volunteers as well. This campaign is about influencing a specific person. Our council member in CD6 has Tony Cardenas. And Tony Cardenas is the Vice Chair, I believe, of the Energy and Environment Committee. So on the Los Angeles City Council. Los Angeles City Council, exactly. So City Council has oversight over the Department of Water and Power. So what we want is to get the City Council to say it is LA policy to get off coal by 2020 and also support the Clean LA rooftop solar program, which would create energy right here instead of sending our money out of state to international coal companies that don't do us any good, disinform the political process, pollute the planet, and go spend their money somewhere else. But a solar program, a rooftop solar program here in LA, means the money that people spend on their bills gets spent here in LA, creates jobs here in LA. So it promotes business, labor wants it, the uh, LA Business Council wants it, Everybody really wants it. LA, LA voters poll almost three to one in favor of this. The latest poll shows 75% of LA voters ask for an aggressive green energy program, and when they're asked if they're willing to pay for it, they still say they want it without even specifying how much. So the opposition to this campaign are people who say, well, I'm, I'm as green as the next guy, but well, right now it's just too expensive in this economic downturn. Well, the LA commissioned the Synops Energy uh, Research Company. The city of LA commissioned it. No, excuse me, I'm, I'm misinforming you. The Sierra Club okay. commissioned Synops Energy to do a study based on the Department of Water and Power's own information that would ask, will consumers really have to pay a steep premium to go green? And what they concluded was that consumers can actually save money if the green energy program includes a healthy component of energy efficiency. So while we will indeed pay higher rates, and by the way, we're going to pay higher rates anyway because the cost of coal itself is going up, but we don't need to use as much energy as we do. People in Europe use 50% of the energy of an average American. So we could, without reducing the quality of our lives at all, reduce our energy consumption enormously by 30 or 40 percent even to be conservative. And this is by doing things like weather, weather sealing your house, putting on programmable thermostats, putting in double glazed windows, putting in a fan in your attic to blow the hot air out of your gables, insulating your attic, doing, doing stuff like that. <clears throat> I've even painted my roof white with solar flex, which is very cheap, and I put this mirrored film on my westward facing windows. I've eliminated the need for air conditioning almost all year in my little bungalow in the center in the San Fernando Valley. Which is a very hot place in the summer. Exactly right. Sometimes it goes up over 100. So I think I, I, I turn on my little uh, air conditioner next to my sofa maybe two days this year. That's and, it. And before you did these... Uh, my measures. house was hot. It was quite hot. So I have cooled down my house and reduced my energy consumption seriously by doing things that are really very cheap. Now, with a really aggressive energy efficiency program, the Department of Water and Power will send people in to do the cheap things for free. They'll give you a list of contractors to choose from to do the, to do the more expensive things, and they'll give you some rebates to pay part of the cost of that. A program like that will do a lot to reduce people's energy consumption to the point where they'll actually be pay paying less on their bill, even if the rates do go up. And this is all part of moving Los Angeles off coal by the year 2020. Exactly right, because moving it off coal is key to it. Because so long as there's an argument that, well, green energy is nice, but uh, the, the coal is cheap, so let's stick to that. And that's the propaganda you're given. Really what, what's happening with the fossil fuel companies is the same thing that happened with the gasoline, the oil companies at the pump. The oil companies now have blocked efforts to create alternative fuels, electric cars, and things like that, so that now the public is stuck needing gasoline. So that if they want to charge us $4 at the pump, we have to pay it. 
even if a lot of that's not really the cost of the gasoline so much, a lot of that comes from speculation. But we can't, we have no other choice. So by doing this campaign, what we want to do is give Angelinos another choice, create diversity in the portfolio, solar, wind, geothermal, natural gas, efficiency. All of those are things that give Angelinos the opportunity to do something else besides consume coal. Now you said that this polls very highly, that the public's in favor of it, so, and yet you need an army of people in yellow t-shirts out here to, to push the elected official anyway. Yes, you do. Uh, I think that, well, Tony Cardenas is not an enemy. Tony Cardenas has done great work on uh, energy efficiency and green energy uh, uh, here in LA and on the state level as well, but <clears throat> he's like any politician, you know. Um, he needs grassroots push. When the people really get up on their hind legs and say they want it, then politicians will oblige. But it takes a movement. Uh, when I was down at one of the um, <clears throat> meetings with uh, Scope and uh, Lane, these are partner organizations in South Central that are advocating for green jobs, and uh, Jonathan Parfrey, one of the uh, commissioners of the Department of Water and Power was there, and I said, Mr. Parfrey, what do we have to do to get the council to actually endorse the goal of getting off coal by uh, 2020? And he said, start a movement. That's what you've got to do. You've got to start a movement. Well, here's the movement. And so that's what we're doing today. We're putting people out there on the streets, talking to their neighbors and saying, hey, if you want this, send this card to your, uh, your council member, your representative. Better yet, call them up. Better yet, write it out in longhand. Because <clears throat> they really respond to that. And so as the campaign continues, we'll be trying to set up meetings with council members. We've already talked to uh, Koretz and Rosendahl, and they've both endorsed the campaign. 20 neighborhood councils have endorsed the campaign. We were just up in uh, Silmar um, on uh, Thursday night, two nights ago. Uh, Vicki Kirschenbaum and I went up there, and Silmar is one of the most conservative communities in the, in the uh, L.A. Uh, uh, Department of Water and Power District, and uh, they voted uh, to support the campaign. So, so there's a was, momentum. That was, yeah, that's right. That was uh, the 20th neighborhood council that has said, yes, get us off coal by 2020 and bring those green jobs here to town because uh, there are communities in L.A. that are plagued with unemployment. L.A.'s unemployment rate is quite a bit higher than the national average, and some of the communities inside L.A. have like close to 30 percent unemployment. If you go to places like South Central and you know, just underserved communities, they got a lot of people that need jobs.